COVID-19 hit nursing homes particularly hard. The virus is especially dangerous within those walls because so many patients have underlying health conditions. That's why when Ron Knauer got the virus, his wife and his doctors never thought he would survive it. But Ron, he had other plans. 13 News anchor Kristen Crowley has that story tonight. We first introduced you to Chris Knauer and her husband Ron at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic on March 12th. Just when I think the tears have stopped, they start up again. Chris was devastated she could no longer visit Ron, a resident at Alden Debus. Less than a month later, that was the least of her concerns. Ron tested positive for COVID-19. It was my biggest fear. I called up and asked how he was doing. The nurse said he was doing pretty well. And two hours later, she calls me and told me that he went into respiratory arrest. He was in ICU on a ventilator. The odds were heavily stacked against the 73 year old. Not only was he at risk due to his age, he had a list of underlying health conditions, including diabetes, congestive heart failure, along with five stents in his heart. I really thought that I was, he would not survive it. Doctors were equally doubtful. We had to transfer him to the ICU and uh, he, uh, he had to be put on uh, respiratory support, ventilator support. Ron was one of the first COVID-19 patients at OSF. Dr. Alan Ong says it was so early in the pandemic that some successful treatments like remdesivir and plasma transfusions from survivors weren't an option. When he was uh, put on life support, uh, it was pretty bleak. But Ron wasn't ready to give up. After 14 days on a ventilator and 25 days in the hospital with nothing but antibiotics for treatment, Ron survived COVID-19. That's when I knew that, that we had our miracle. And miracle may be the only word to describe why Ron's here today. Uh, as far as why uh, specifically Mr. Knauer made it, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. All that matters is he's a survivor. For your 13 Weather Authority, Kristen Crowley, 13 News.